what's up guys so i'm out here with my savage 300 wind mag i apologize i haven't posted a video in a little while but i've been super busy with work the summer has been crazy so we're gonna do another gel test with the 300 today and the bullet that we are going to be testing is the spear impact this is a 190 grain bullet now i loaded these up probably three years ago when these bolts first got released but then because of covid they just disappeared so I was like, all right, I got 10 of them for hunting if I ever hunt with this gun, but I never hunt with it because it's huge and it's heavy. So these I have uh, loaded up with Reloader 17. They're doing a touch over 3,000 feet per second. I'm getting slight primer cratering, but they're not really flat and bolt lift is fine. So for a hunting round, I'm not too concerned with. I'm not going to be shooting a ton of these, but I'm going to do a, a quick shot at 100, just a double check point of impact, and then we're going to shoot the gel. All right, so I tried to use the super slow-mo on my camera, which works with a, uh, a motion sensor. Now, normally in the summertime, it doesn't work because bugs fly in front of it and set it off. So today there's not a lot of bugs, and I tried it, and a bug still set it off. So this big wound channel right there is from that 190 impact. Yes, I know there's other wound channels in these blocks, but these things are a nightmare to melt down. So I try to shoot them as many times as I can. But that is... Hit it exactly where I wanted, where there was no other wound channels. I mean, massive channel. Looks like some fragments here went. Penetrated mostly through this block, and... I guess the bullet exited the top of the block. Which is kind of odd, because I'm shooting from a bench downwards. Um... There is a berm right here, so the bullet could be right here. I don't know, but I do have more bullets, so I'm just going to take another shot. Okay, so I might have been wrong there. Hard to tell, but that wound track comes in here, and it appears that it's not this top one. It's this one. So this is the downside to these, that it went through all the way here. And sure enough, here's the bullet right here on the ground. Beautiful mushroom. All right, so I got three blocks this time. Again, absolutely massive wound channel. We got some fragmentation, but the bullet is right in the middle of the second block. Now, this bullet is sideways, so it stopped soon because it turned sideways where the other one didn't turn sideways I do not know um, I might take one more shot alright so I did take a third shot hit just below the other one now the bullet came in and decided to veer out the side of the block so not the best of luck. Uh, I might be able to find that one over here too. We will see. And uh, let's try a fourth shot and see what happens. Alright guys, so I was able to get one video using super slow-mo without a bug setting off the camera. And as you can tell, it looks funky. The way the gel's moving, it just doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't look the way it used to on my old phones. And also, right here, normally in the beginning, you can go frame by frame, get some good snapshots of the temporary stretch cavity, but it did not trigger quick enough with this gel shot. So, it worked, but kind of crappy video. So, for the future, I'll just be doing regular slow-mo, which is not nearly as many frames, but the videos come out a little bit better. Alright, so, I took a fourth shot. And that bullet is right here next to the other one. So it looks like that one tumbled also. So maybe the first shot did go at the top of the block and land in a berm. I really don't know. Um, but like all the other shots, that one has a massive wound channel. So take a look at the bullets when we get home. All right, we got these gel blocks back home now. And I uh, took four shots into the gel, so I was flopping them around to make sure I was shooting into fresh spots. So we have one bullet that came through. This is the first shot. Bullet tracked through. This is the one I ended up finding in the dirt behind the gel block. Still don't know exactly what happened to that one. Then I had one fly out the side, and we captured two right here. So 
that is one wound channel there. Then I flop this block around and we have another one there. So these bullets definitely have a huge wound channel. This might be the biggest wound channel I've seen in clear gel. So we're about two inches wide here. There is some fragmentation, you know, almost halfway through the block there. And it held that permanent wound cavity throughout that whole block. You know, this one again, two inches or so. And still about two inches. And it just, it keeps that for, bear with me here, you know, it holds that big wound channel to about eight inches. And it's still pretty big. And even this one too, we got some secondary fragmentation pretty far into the block. So let's check here, these two bullets, if I can get this tape measure to stay, I apologize I'm not using my tripod right now, so this bullet is right at 24 inches and this one's right at 25 inches which is plenty of penetration, and these two, this, you know, the one's backwards and this one's sideways, so they definitely show signs of tumbling. And the mushroom definitely looks different than the one I found in the dirt. So this one may have actually penetrated through all of them if it stayed, you know, straight. So let's pull these bullets out and take a look at them. All right, so we got our bullets out of the gel now. So this is the one that uh, I found in the bank behind the block. So this one's got a nice perfect mushroom. Petals are folded flat to the side. So I think this one tracks straight. And probably went through both blocks since it stayed straight. 129.7, 134.8. Now this one definitely has some gel stuck in it. I couldn't really get all that out. And you can see how this mushroom is not nearly as uniform. I'm not sure if this is the one that was backwards or just sideways, but since it didn't track true, it's not you know as perfect of a mushroom. Then we got this one, which I think this was the one that was sideways because it's kind of squished on this one side. And another 129. So these average out to 68% weight retention, which isn't, you know, that high for a bonded bullet. But these are advertised as a long-range bonded bullet, kind of like the Acubon long-range. So to work at further distances, it has to be soft. Um, that's just kind of part of having a long-range bullet. So we got 0.501 here. Let's see if I can find a wider spot. 0.58, so just under two times expansion with that one. This one, so we're at 0.6 here. Let's see, 0 0.57, 0 0.6. I mean, it is pretty uniform diameter wise. So that one's just at 2x. And this one, 6.1. Oh, never mind, hold on. Oh, there we go, 0.6. So just that 2x expansion. So not huge expansion, but overall I'm pretty impressed with these. Now these are also impacting the gel at 2,850 feet per second at 100 yards, which is a very high impact velocity. So they did perform pretty good for that high impact velocity. Definitely want to test these at 300, and I really want to find a spot where I can try to stretch out these gel tests to 500 yards to really see how these will perform. Not sure if I can do that, but I'm going to try my best. So uh, like always, guys, thanks for watching, and please tune in for the next video.